Hey, what's going on, everybody? IO Studios here for another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a realistic metal material and a scene to accompany that material. Uh, it should be a quick tutorial, so um, yeah, let's get started. First, let's make the actual material itself. So, uh, double click down here to make a new material. And we're going to go to Reflectance, Add, GGX. <clears throat> now, scroll down. And Roughness, you want that at 10%. You want the reflection strength at 50% and the specular strength at 0%. Now let's actually make the scene. <clears throat> so, we add in a new tube. Uh, and we're going to make it kind of like a ring, I guess. Let's add a fillet to that. Let's add 5 radius, fillet, 10 there. And then we're going to rotate this. <clears throat> so, let's rotate it a bit. I'm going to move it up slightly. And we're going to kind of put together. Um, I'm going to kind of put together three rings here. Uh, <clears throat> so, add that, control C, control V. And let's add a new object. Or let's add a new ring, I mean, sorry. What am I saying? Just copy paste the ring three times. And I'm going to make it into a, um, kind of like a... Having three rings together so that it looks kind of like, um, I don't know, I guess kind of like the Olympics. The Olympic thing, I don't know. Uh, I'm going to rotate this slightly. There we go. <clears throat> Just to put together three rings. And I'll have them all going through each other. There we go. I'm going to move this one into place a bit more. A bit closer to the others. And I'm going to rotate it a bit more on a different angle. Just to make it a bit more, a bit more variant. Alright, cool, cool. So we're going to hit Alt, G. I want to call this uh, object, which is kind of the object center of our scene. Now we're going to drag this onto the object. Now I know it just looks white in the editor, but it'll look much better once we render, render it, so don't worry about that. <clears throat> now let's add a cube. I'm making a quick background now. This is my favorite way of making a quick backdrop. Anybody who's been subscribed for a while will know this. Um, and you just add a fillet, and you just scale up the fillet radius a lot. Just like that, and we're gonna bring down the radius a bit. Yeah, there we go. And make it the object editable. Go to polygons mode and select all these. And hit Control A, and we're gonna be selecting everything except these. So just like that. Cool, cool. <clears throat> now we're gonna move up this. Let's move it above the grid just to make it a bit easier to edit with. Then let's grab the uh, the rings, the ring object. We're moving that. Eh, we'll move it about to the back of the scene. Move it down a bit. Um, or the back of the backdrop. Sorry, thing there. You know what I mean. Uh, and then go to the cube. And we're going to move these lines out a bit. Um, there we go. <clears throat> and we're going to move the cube again a bit more, just like so. Now we need to make a new material. Actually, we need to make two new materials. So the first one we'll just apply to the background. Uh, we just sorry, get rid of that. We're gonna apply the first one to the background, and the second one <clears throat> we are going to go ahead and uh, basic and luminance and set the luminance to uh, we're gonna set that to two hundred percent. That's gonna be our softbox lighting. So let's add a new plane as well. Scale up that plane, and yeah, this will be our softbox. So this will be our lighting setup. Pretty quick, but uh, effective lighting setup. So, let's see here. I'm not gonna make it that softbox as big. Make it like, eh, maybe like that should be good, I guess. And we're gonna apply the material there. <clears throat> now I'm gonna set up our camera. Uh, so we're gonna grab our object and we're gonna rotate it a bit. Let's see here. Get a better view. Just like that. Now we're gonna add a new camera object and we'll go into the camera. Now also we're gonna need to go to render settings. Now I know you can't see the render settings window um, because of how I do my recording. So I'll just tell you guys what to do. So go to the output, set the width to 1920 and set the height to 1080 for 1080p resolution. Go to effect, click on animate occlusion. Go to effect again, click on global illumination. Under the global illumination uh, effect, click on samples and set it to high. Um, that'll just get you better samples and higher quality. 
So we're going to set that up just like that. And we are done. So just hit render. <clears throat> and it will render away. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, of course, leave a like. Subscribe to my channel. And I will see you guys later. Uh, have a good day. Bye.